All right, here I have an edit where I have tons and tons of titles. I know usually you would have video clips and titles, but I'm just going to illustrate this by the fact that I just have 10 zillion titles in a timeline. And I decided that I want to try a different font. I just don't like Lucida Grand for this font for all my sample text titles. So I know I could go into the first title and double click it, go to the Controls tab, choose my new font, and let's change a new size, make it 54. And now I could do that for each and every title, but man, what a hassle that is. Let's look at a warp speed workflow way to change the font all at once. The first step is saying File, Export, XML. And you do have to click in your timeline for that option. File, Export, XML. Version 3 sounds good. We're going to say OK. Save it on our desktop. And sure enough, here on your desktop, we see this little XML file. I can drag this onto a text editor, such as Subetha Edit. And now if I scroll down in this document, I can see eventually, once it gets past all this header info, eventually I will get to my first title. I can see that this says sample text. And as you remember, I changed the first one to Arial Black, which is what I want. But as you'll remember, I did not change the other 10 zillion titles, which are all, if we take a look down here, set to Lucida Grand. So I don't want this. I'm going to highlight this, say copy, find, paste. And I, know, I want to find all instances of Lucida Grand, and I want to change them all to Arial Black. So let me uh, find the first title up here, which is right here. And I want to copy it just to make sure I don't misspell Arial Black. There we go. I click Replace All. And within one second, I've got 70 titles changed to Arial Black, all the ones that were Lucida Grand. Now, as you remember, I also wanted to change the size to 54. Now, I could change all uh, of the old size, which was 36 to 54, but that could screw everything up because I might have some other 36s in my project, like the size of something or the rotation or the level of blur on an effect. So I don't want to just go changing all 36s to 54s. I was pretty safe changing Lucida Grand to Arial Black because it's very unlikely those words would be present anywhere else, but a number could be anything. So to be very safe, I'm going to highlight all of these lines that say parameter ID font size, name size, value min and max, and the value. So if I highlight this whole block of XML statements, I can make sure that I'm only changing font sizes from 36 to 54. So I'll copy this, click over in my find box and paste. Then I'll paste it in the replace. And instead of 36, I'll change to 54. So I'm saying find me all occurrences of this group of XML tags that say 36 and change them into the identical tags that say 54. Once I say replace all, again, in less than a second, I've changed the size of all my titles. Now I'll change my font change XML document. And just so I know what's going on, under sequence ID, I'm going to call it font changed. I'll add a D. And I'll also add a D to the name. And this is so I can distinguish it from my other sequence easily in my browser. So now I'm going to save my XML document. I will switch back to Final Cut Pro, and then I'm going to say File, Import, XML. Final Cut Pro says, where's the XML doc? I'm going to choose my XML doc. Then it says, do you want to throw the sequence in the same project that you're working in, or would you like to create a whole new project? In this case, let's just throw it in the same project. So I'll click OK. And sure enough, here is a sequence called Font Changed. Down here, I can see my old sequence where only the first title was Arial Black. But if I double click this one, I can see my new sequence where every title is just the way I want it. Wow, that 
is warp speed. 